Hey YouTube, the drain in our kitchen sink's been playing up for a little while, it gets blocked up from time to time. I've been throwing some drain out down to clean it, which has worked up until now, but it seems to be getting worse. And it's pretty expensive to get a plumber all the way out here to run a drain snake through it. So I decided I'd buy one off eBay and do the job myself. Let's have a look at the drain snake and see how the job went. We've been having some trouble with the drain from the kitchen sink for a little while now. I ordered this off eBay. This is a drain snake. It comes with a whole heap of fittings. <laughs> they even give you some gloves with it. Wow, I did not expect that. Let's have a look at the fittings first. And it comes with all these attachments for cleaning out the obstruction. We've got a spiral for big obstructions, a spiral for small obstructions, a two-prong blade for cutting through semi-hard obstructions, I think, a four-prong blade for cutting through softer obstructions. I'm not quite sure what that one's for. We shall find out if we need him. Another tool. Hmm. Figure that out when I go to use it. Of course, there's no instructions because this is probably done from China, but that's okay. How hard can it be to use? And here we've got this saw thing, which is sort of a spiral or saw blade. I guess it's going to more or less grind through any tree roots that are growing through the drain. So that all looks fairly impressive. This particular drain snake has to be used on a drill. It's not a hand operated one and you wouldn't expect it to be with those sort of attachments. Comes all set up in a metal cage which must have some fancy way of undoing which I haven't quite discerned yet. I'm going to have to think about this because I cannot see how that comes undone. That appears to be welded in there. Maybe you extract it from the inside. Oh yeah, that looks doable. <laughs> getting it back in is harder than getting it out though. Yeah, there it is. That's all the bits to it. And we mustn't forget our gloves so we don't get our delicate hands dirty. We'll give that a go shortly and see how well it works. Start by getting this short piece out. Uh, I can't see how that, that's to get it all. And it clips on like that. But I figured this out. You've got a spring-loaded button in there to hold it in. So you push it in there, push your spring-loaded button up and go over until it locks in the recess in the centre. And then this tool here is to push through the hole in the side. Let's lift that button up again. Oops, don't let it slip back there. Lift that button up again and then you can push this all and that little hole in the center there is where that locks in. So that must go into your drill and that attaches to this piece. And now this piece here goes into the bit we're going to use to dig through our rubbish and I'm thinking give this one a go first. So there we go that clips on there like that. This goes into the drill end and we can extend it as needed. Alright, we're ready to give it a go anyway. Oh, a lot of grease to stop it going rusty. I actually figured this other one out. I just had to think about it for a while. This is for really clogged up stuff I reckon. That you just put this on and that is the end that's supposed to wind its way through. It's got a fairly sharp tip on there and that winds its way through the blockage. Alright, we're going to try the boar snake out now and see if it does the job and there's my beautiful assistant holding the drill ready to work it for me because this is a two-man operation. That's the drain we're about to go down. And I don't imagine there'll be too much to see there. Actually, there probably won't be. I'll move it back and give a bit more of a view of the whole action. 
Now I found the best process for doing this was to just put one length of the spring on the drill and feed that in and then unclip the drill, add another length, feed that in and keep repeating the process until you've gone through the obstruction. And because this obstruction had given us trouble from time to time, I used it all. I went as far across the house as I could, which was I think 20 metres we had in this chain snake. Now I didn't use the gloves this time, just a little bit of oil on the drain snake, I wasn't too worried about it. But it did occur to me that if you'd used the drain snake a little bit, it might have little nicks on the spring and sharp edges, so the gloves would help to protect you from those. So they do have a purpose and probably should use them, just in case. I'm just putting some water in the sink now to test this and see if it's freed it. My lovely assistant will be good enough to pull the plugs out while I'm holding the camera. We'll see how it went. And that's looking quite promising, considering that it sat there for about five minutes beforehand and didn't, uh, didn't disappear at all. Oops, maybe spoke too soon, did I? Is it? No, no, it's still going. No, it stopped. It stopped. Right, well, I pulled the air spend off under there and we put the drain snake down from this end as well. So there's no doubt that it's gone past the centre of the house now from both ends. So it should be clear. So I'll get my assistant to pull the plugs again and we'll just see what happens this time. Well that sounds better. And it looks better. Hallelujah! Well just goes to show what a long pipe this is. Even that drain snake won't reach it from one end. We had to go from both ends to make to get it clear. But job done. Couldn't have done it without that big long 20 odd metre drain snake. Well worth every cent. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I found this drain snake was really easy to use once I got over the teething problem but not quite understanding how it went together. Certainly a lot cheaper than getting a plumber out to do the job for you. I'd recommend it to anyone having some drain problems that are a bit beyond getting the drainer to clean up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, you can go to my channel or browse to my website. Don't forget to click like, comment and subscribe for more. Until next time.